Good morning. This is the marina at Acarunia, where we're staying. It's got power and full facilities, and it's right next door to this marina. It's quite good actually, it's had security on and everything. We had a really good night's sleep here. It's really worked quite well. But uh, I guess you'd expect security when you're looking at such value here. And there's the, what we think is the Maritime Control Centre up there. That's quite a phenomenal building. So we've got up early, as we often do, hoping to get into town, take some photographs of the main buildings before everybody gets uh, moving around. Let's go. Morning, my lovely. Good morning. You alright this morning? Yeah, I am. Yeah, good night's sleep. Uh, nice place, yeah. different. Yeah. I like watching the boats coming in and out, which is yeah. always good. So There's a nice restaurant here as well, isn't there? There is a very nice restaurant, yeah. But yeah. sadly... Yes, no Peros. No Peros. Yeah. Always yeah. the same, but it um, it's upon the top deck. But it is very nice. It's very good reviews, and um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very good seafood. You can just see the plane coming into the airport. Look, just behind us. Oh yeah, run, yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah. Flies it's into obviously Lon flies into London Gatwick. Ah. Viewing. Yeah, flying to London Gatwick. Mm. Interesting. Now here is the um, the store. It's quite funny here, is because it says that it's a mini mart. But in fairness, it sells beer, crisps, and a few chocolate bars, and the rest is fishing tackle and fishing bait. This, this is what this place is all about. Um, but nevertheless, we enjoyed a beer from here last night. Now, if you're wondering why we still got big coats on, it's because you have cold starts in northern Spain. Uh, the day warms up considerably by mid-afternoon it'll be quite warm and very comfortable and it'll be t-shirt weather but first thing in the morning in northern Spain at this time of year you do need your big coat on. A little promenade down here that takes you in at this shop here and gives you a, a look out across the castle. history is but it looks quite attractive to do some research this is really very nice isn't it I have to say I was just looking at it thinking this is on the face of it this is a very smart city and you've got the the new which is quite obviously new but they've kept it within the character of the old that's behind us and you, you look at this and you just see the old maritime buildings you see the the wall the old wall the old fortifications around the city um, yeah and I have to say it's very very it's sort of the modern and the new uh, sorry the modern and the old they've merged together very very well there's a lot of modern art statue as well here I saw it yesterday as well it's uh the city does pride itself on its modern art, it seems. We suspect that the reason for the modern art statues is this is the home of the Pablo Picasso uh, School of Art. Get my teeth around it this morning. So I suspect there's a bit of a tradition here. This is the main square. And 
This dates to 1589. This is the Church of Santiago. It's where the English pilgrims begin their pilgrimage to Santiago de Compostela and it's been here since the 12th century. It's when Fernando VII returned from battling Napoleon. Ah. That's what that one is. So this is an alliance with the English on this one then? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Chris is the Union Japanese. Yeah, yeah, we were allies with Spain against Napoleon. Yeah. And uh, yeah, this is all in Spanish, so I can't tell you at the moment what it's about, but it's clearly dedicated to the liberty of Coronia. What's quite clear here is how important the north of Spain was in Spanish history, certainly contemporary Spanish history. Well, that was a pretty good morning, wasn't it? It was a great morning. What a surprise that was. Mm, we sort of knew this city might be interesting. It's got a lot of history um, that we didn't know about, that we've mm. learnt about this mm. morning. Because when you look at it today, it looks very modern. Certainly modern art. There's the Picasso... Picasso Art School. Art School, yeah. which uh, suggests modern art. Yeah, yeah. Divides yeah. opinion. Yeah. <laughs> but there you go. Um, so, yeah, great place. We're going to pack up now and get up the road. Yes. Uh, head towards Foz, mm. see what that's like. Um, and sort of, uh, yeah, off we go. Check out another park up. Absolutely. So we're at the official Auto Caravanas park up at Foz. And it looks uh, as if it's going to be quite a nice stay. It's the Pan Round 360 straight out onto there. The colour of that sea. Me and Pops are going for a little walk. Check things out. Look at you, any chance you get, and you're onto that beach, aren't you? She's a Norfolk beach girl, what can she say? Not used to all the beach bands, are you, kid? Come on then, up you come. Yeah, early days yet with Foz, we've only been here an hour or so, but uh, I'm going to quite look forward to looking around this place. Walking beyond the beach line now. We've got water both sides of us. It's like we're getting to the end. One thing I've noticed about Spain, there tends to be messages, political messages all over the place. Usually, I don't know whether this is a political message or not. Uh, but uh, there often is when you get somewhere that's significant where people go, there's often some kind of written graffiti message that normally means something. Not the white stuff, the black stuff underneath. And there we have a beacon. If I spin around, you'll see where we are. Right on the coastline up there. We're gonna have a walk around there in a minute. All the way back. I spy a dog on the beach running. Maybe a good sign. And all the way around here is this Emerald Sea, which bodes well. Okay, let's go and check out that beach, Pops. I've just got this thing about these traditional boats. I just think they're awesome. Still got an outboard motor on the back of this one, of course, but um, I still think they've got some quality. I like them. This is in the one of the marinas. There's a couple of marinas. 
and it's so clear and in the water or fish that you can see lots of them that are nearly a foot long I'm not sure it'll come out on the video but it's as clear and as clean as anything in this sea it's just emerald in colour it's going back towards the city like the last of the summer wine guys this one is definitely compo that one's definitely cleggy and that one's got to be foggy well amazingly there are no signs here about dogs on beaches and there's several locals with the dogs on the beaches the only thing it says, aggressive ones, must be muzzled. But it's very rare for Spain. I think only two or three occasions have we found completely unregulated beaches. And that's marvellous for us, because Poppy likes the beach. We dare not let her off a lead at the moment though, because over there are seagulls, and Poppy hates birds. She will chase those birds and keep running till we'll bow, and won't hear any recall instructions whatsoever. Because, unfortunately, that's what Spaniels do. You can see already, already zoning in. Thinking of a way to shed the lead. There we go, here we go. Yep, birds, 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 birds. Come on, Mum, let me off. Just gotta have a seagull. <laughs> Just a seagull, Mum. Nobody will miss a seagull. Just a seagull, Mum. In it, Pops. Fighting over a piece of, of, of a fish. The seagulls are fighting over a fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll be the least of their problems if Poppy gets off the lead. <laughs> if Poppy has a way, they will not be thinking about fish. <laughs> Good morning. The world is waking here in Foz. The fishermen are getting out on their boats, or going out on their boats, should I say and the world is starting to wake. It's the crack of sparrows, uh, the best time of the day. And I'm waiting for the sun to come out from behind the clouds. It uh, promises to be an interesting sun. Uh, we will see, it's been let down before. Here it comes. Here comes the sun again. Well, that was that. I'll stick some photographs up. See what you think, let me know. I'll pan around and show you the colour of the sky this morning. A little bit moody in places, but quite photogenic. Looking out over one of the uh, inlets. The small fishing boats and pleasure boats are kept. It's an interesting place this. It opens up as a river estuary comes in into quite a tidal uh, inlet. And uh, you can see the tides on the way out now. So. It's quite bizarre, if one minute you're looking at your caravan and uh, motorhome and there is um, miles of beach in front of you and the next minute there's a boat passing just within 25 feet of where you are. It's quite interesting, quite dramatic how it comes in. So, Anyway, time for breakfast. Galician bocadillo with a hamburger and a salad. Very tasty. Going in. Going in. Very tasty. Yeah. This world's called photographs of our grandparents. How cool is that?
Morning. Morning. We've been a proper Yorkshire morning. That. It was a proper Yorkshire yeah. morning, wasn't it? Yeah. Morning. Yeah. Morning. Morning. It's uh, yeah. <laughs> The Norfolk's not uh, not altered as yet, no, is it? No, my lovely, it's not. Good morning, my lovelies. For anybody watching from Norfolk, yes. which is our now our favourite place in the UK, <laughs> we have uh, hit Yarnes on the north coast of Spain. Normally, when we come to Spain, there's no leaves on these trees because we're out of season, and now it's just nice to see them. Well, it does look a bit bizarre how it grows but it's nice to see them actually in leaf. Yeah, I love these trees. They're just like knobbly fingers, aren't they? They're like Voldemort's fingers. So you go, Harry Potter reference for the fans. Believe it or not, this fine building that's coming into play here is a bank. A little bit there. That's a hotel, that one. That is a bank. And it reminds me of that building that we ate at in the restaurant on the top floor in Madrid. Yes, it does. Was that the Metro Hotel? Yeah, I yeah the Metro Hotel. There's some wonderful buildings here. Yeah, it does. It looks like the town hall. It is. Behind me is the town centre of Yanis, and we're going to go. Me and Pops are going to go and find Martin, who's been out photographing. He's somewhere down at the harbour, so we're going to go and find him. Good afternoon. We've dropped into San Sebastian on our way to Bilbao to uh, have Poppy uh, seen by the vet. As you know, if you're returning to the UK with a, with a dog, they have to have a tapeworm treatment between 24 and 120 hours before they're allowed to return to the country. So we're uh, walking to the local vet and we'll let you know how we get on.
What do you think then, Pops? You're going to be a good girl? You're going to be a good girl? Are you? You're going to be a good girl? Yeah, you're going to be a good girl. We've just been through a pet reception at Brittany Ferries at Bilbao. Um, relatively straightforward process. Maybe it might have been quicker with a pet passport, but we were only there about five minutes. We presented our passports, animal health certificate, and booking reference number for the ferry. They were all checked by the staff inside. Um, we got the OK, thank goodness, big sigh of relief. And they gave us our tickets for the cabin and stuck a green sticker on the front of the vehicle, which we'll show you. And then they send you down to the lane. As we came through there, we then had to stop and the Guardia Seville just came in and checked the inside of the, um, of the motorhome and just checked in the bathroom. And other than that, that was um, quite a straightforward process. Well, they just called us back to our vehicles after a very easy and smooth journey, really. 27 hours on the good ship Salamanca um, using the pet uh, cabin procedures. And by and large, pretty positive experience. Say eh? the weather was good, so the sail was good. Uh, can't fault the boat, it's a brand new boat. Everything's fantastic in it. The rooms are clean, functional. Everything works fine. 
Uh, I'd, I'd a quick look at the kennels on the boat. The kennels actually, in fairness, as far as kennels go, are tip top as well. Um, would we put Poppy in one? No, but that's just our choice. Um, the only thing really was that, apart from your own room, your own cabin, and a very quite a small exercise deck at the side of the kennels, uh, you couldn't take your dogs anywhere on the boat, which meant that really was quite restricted. In fact, it's fair to say that you get you got more options on a Calmec ferry um, to the islands than you do on a Brittany ferry trip abroad. So it did confine you a little bit. I'm a bit at a loss as to why there wasn't other areas in the boat where you could take your dog. There certainly is on the on uh, the Calmec ferries. Uh, but that is, is I, would I recommend it? Yes. Um, there's no real negative points. Um, people make their own choices. If you put your dog in kennels, I think you'll not find much better kennel set up than this if you like the pet cabin structure pet uh, the cabin structure it'll work quite a few dogs were left in cabins by their owners and the, we, we didn't leave Poppy um, one of us was always with her but the, some of the dogs were getting quite distressed in the cabins that being left again that's a personal choice not for us um, would we use it again probably if the circumstances fit but as a general rule I still think we'll use your tunnel um, I think with a young energetic dog uh, it's better to just mooch up and down through France, um, giving your dog chance for a proper exercise. That would suit our personal needs better. But that's not really meant as a criticism of, um, of how anybody else travels with the dogs or indeed Brittany Ferries. It's, um, it's purely a personal decision and as I say, this is a good service. It's just for our personal needs with the age of our dog and the type of dog we've got. Um, I, th I still think the train will work better for us and that's probably the way we'll go in future. But thankfully, um, we're here pulling into Portsmouth now. We're going to get underway. Uh, probably stay the night somewhere on an air or somewhere, um, look at me, an air. We're not in Europe anymore now. We'll find somewhere to stay tonight on the way back. Um, I haven't quite decided yet what that's going to look like. Um, we're going to look at the marina at Portsmouth. If we can't get on there, we might even travel back to Norfolk tonight and find somewhere up there. Because um, uh, obviously we've got to do a job empty in the, in the bus, um, which will happen uh, probably sometime tomorrow. And hello, Pops. Yeah, you've been all right, haven't you? Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Video bombed. They always get video bombed by the pooch. Um, so that's good. So we'll uh, we'll speak to you soon. Well, you can expect this now, I guess. Now that uh, we've now got a land border between us and the EU, this is only to be expected. Now we've got, I guess, border force. Now I have to check everybody thoroughly. We're now longer moving freely. We've got at least seven lanes. They've got plenty of booths open, but it is still taking a long time to get through customs. This used to be uh, a formality before, you just drive through, but not anymore. Good evening. Good evening. Well, we're back on UK soil. Yes. 27 hours on the boat. It wasn't bad, was it? Do you know, it was much better than I expected it to be. It was a nice boat, the dog was happy, we were happy. Uh, we weren't ill at all, which is always a bonus. Yeah. The, Bisca the Bay of Biscay can be a little bit problematic yeah. at the best of times, so yeah, very good. Yeah, we'll, we'll, um, we'll obviously have covered the boat ride uh, separately, but we're glad to be back and mm. we've not really gone without much in three months, but the one thing <laughs> that we've gone without is a curry. Is a curry, yes. So, we've, so re we, we've remedied that now. We're parking the night at uh, Marina at the Solent, um, which is a great overnighter if you look on search for sites. There's a number, you have to ring security to uh, get yourself booked in, uh, but it uh, stops you getting a parking ticket, basically. But it's a good spot. And uh, there's a curry house right next door, yeah. so we're going to indulge. Yes. And um, and then head back up the road to Norfolk tomorrow. So, time to eat. Time to eat. So, we're back home in Norfolk after 90 um, days, or 89. 89 days, nearly enough yet. Yeah. I'm pleased to say that we've not been broken into. We've uh, got no water leaks or anything else. No. We have got a property that's uh, fairly well looked after, to be fair. Uh, look, we just wanted to say thank you for coming along with us. Uh, on the playlist, there are 28 videos of probably what has been one of our greatest adventures. I think probably our greatest adventure. And we've travelled, um, yeah, through Africa, through America, America, yeah, 14 European countries. Yes. And Northern Spain, Spain truly blew our socks off. Mm. So I want to thank you for coming with us and, uh, and just say um, that um, any questions you've got will help ask. if we can. If mm. you interested in going there and we can help you in any way we will just drop the questions below or email us but otherwise for this last time on this entire trip <laughs> martin out helen out <laughs>